In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a class lesson in Microsoft Teams and share it with your students later on. So in order to start the lesson, I'm going to click the Meet Now option in my class, and it's going to give me a few options here. So I'm going to call the meeting Lesson 1, and I'm going to click Meet Now. And that will start my video meeting. Hopefully at this point, your students will join. Um, and in order to record the class, you click the three dots and click start recording. And that will start recording the meeting. You'll notice at the top you'll get a little notification to remind you that it's recording and your students will also get a similar notification which will tell them that the meeting is being recorded. At this point you can carry out your lesson as normal. So I'm going to click share. And I'm going to share my pres history presentation that I've got open at the moment. I'm going to click here. And this is now being recorded in the background. You'll notice that the screen is surrounded by a red box. That just highlights what is being shared with the students. In this case, I'm just sharing a PowerPoint presentation, but you could share your whole desktop, or even if you've got multiple screens, you could share multiple screens as well. So I'm going to pop back into Teams. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Now I've finished my lesson and I want to stop the recording. So what I'm going to do is click stop recording and confirm that I stopped recording. And then I'm going to end the meeting. So this end meeting option is really useful. It's been updated in the last week. Um, and it now ends the full meeting and kicks the students out of the session as well. So I'm going to end the meeting. There we go. And I'm now back at my posts tab. And you'll see here that there is a new notification. It's got some information about the lesson we've just held. And it's also got this message which says recording stopped, saving to Microsoft Stream. Now that might take a few minutes to save, but once it has done, a little thumbnail will appear, appear here with the uh, thumbnail of the class. And the students can go back to it at any point and click the meeting to view it. It's worth noting that you don't need to worry about storage space on your computer because the videos are streamed directly to Microsoft Stream. And you'll see this lesson I held previously, the thumbnail has appeared, and I can now go in there and click and play the video. Once the video has saved and stream, you can click the three dots next to each of the videos. You can open them in the stream website, share them with other users, get a link to share them in an email, or make this video a tab. So if this is a video you want students to view and make it more accessible for them, if you click make a tab, it will add the video here for you as well. I'm just going to rename it as well, so I can call it lesson one. And now it's easily accessible to all of my students. If you want to delete the video, click open in Microsoft Stream. and go to the three dot button here and you can delete it. Again, this page is only available to students and teachers that are assigned to your class. If you'd like to edit the settings of this video, again, click the three dots, click update video details, and you can change some settings. So you can add a description, you can make this available generally or just to specific groups. You can um, get some information about which uh, students and staff have been viewing the video and you can turn the comments on and off. 